This segment of Naperville Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Daily Herald. Here at Nequa Valley with head coach Christina Frontera of the softball team. Thank you for joining me. Of course. So you guys, your athletes said it's going fast. Do you feel the same way that the season is coming to a close much quicker than you anticipated? So fast. It just seems like just yesterday we were in tryouts, getting ready for the <laughs> season, trying to figure out for cancellations all in March, yeah. and now we're here end of close to end of May and we're talking about regionals. So it came by very quickly for us. Cancellations in March, cancellations in April, we're May. Used to it. It's softball it's... season. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of work to do, don't we're you? Used to it, yes. But we, we give and take every time we cancel. It's an opportunity for us to get back into the gym and work on some practice um, so we're, we're used to it let's talk about the team because yes. you have a great mixture of veteran leadership and seniors and then some really good young players too we do. We, uh, let's start with the seniors and I mean those you have four of them I believe four seniors and that we're losing this year we're gonna we're gonna miss we're gonna miss them so much on uh, next year we have Julia Rayner who is our starting pitcher she's been on varsity for three years so she's gonna be a huge loss to our program next year um, she's a great pitcher. She moves around, um, and we need that in our program. So she's going to be a huge loss for us. And then we have two outfielders, Gabby Dufresne and Alex Ebert, who we're going to be losing the outfield. A lot of speed around the bases as well. And then we have uh, um, Andrea Richards, who we'll be, we'll be losing too. Um, she's second base and also outfield as well. Good range and versatility, good around the bases. So we're going to be losing a good group of girls next year. It's always tough to lose seniors. It is. Obviously, as a coach, you see them grow up, but uh, the players that will be replacing them, it's too soon to talk about that. Yeah. But some young talent. Some we really got a young, good young team talent. this year. Um, well, we have three sophomores this year, all starting, mm -hmm. and then we have the majority of our starting lineup is juniors as well. Um, they bring a lot to the table in terms of versatility, in terms of position. Mm -hmm. um, I have players I could put in the infield and outfield, yeah. and they are very strong behind the plate, which makes us a lot more excited about next <laughs> year, too. As a coach, that mixture mm -hmm. of sophomores, juniors, and seniors at the varsity level, is that a fun challenge to kind of embark on? It is, because you have the leadership from the seniors that mm -hmm. bring um, chemistry to the team. And then you got the excitement from the new players on varsity. Yeah. And then you got the returning players that didn't feel as comfortable last year because of their mm -hmm. first year, so they're even more excited this year. So the mix of leadership with the excitement has really set the tone for our team this year. Now, right in the middle of the season, you guys lost a couple of games, but you bounced back. You have a yeah. couple of uh, big wins, and they were largely driven by the bats. You guys are swinging pretty well. We are swinging. They come, in, they come in later in the game. I'll take it. <laughs> it takes them a couple of innings to wake up the bats, but when they're on, they're on, and it starts with the rally. And once one player is on, then the whole team feels, mm -hmm. feeds off that, and they use that, and we come out very strong behind the plate. Michaela said it's contagious. It is. And, I mean, it's an old adage of baseball and softball. Once you start rolling, you start rolling. And yep. you got to start playing off of that, right? And that's that's what I see in terms of my juniors and my sophomores. They get inside their head. They think too much. Mm -hmm. um, and I really have to reset them and regroup them when they're not hitting the first couple innings. I said, mm -hmm. don't think. You guys are a strong hitting team. Just get out there, have fun. And then right when I say that, that's when it comes around. And they just hit the crap out of the ball. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that word, but they do. And they, they inspire me, and they are such a good team to have and I feel very blessed to have them as a team this year. You talk about the mental aspect of the game because softball in particular, you have so many chances yeah. that if you fail two or three times in a game, you're gonna come up another time to make an impact. Right. You have to keep instilling that as a coach into the younger players. Do you feel like they've gotten that message over the course of the they year? They have, um, especially on our Tennessee tournament when we first went out in um, March. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, this is a very individualized sport. You play your individual position, you're up bat by yourself. Yeah. But it's how we carry each other as a team that's going to make a difference between those wins and losses. And if you can get up to the plate and if you strike out, you're going to have to come back in the defense and make a play, and that's how you're going to bounce back. From your day one until now as the head coach, how, where has this program gone? How has it grown? It's, it's grown the last, um, the last year. Um, yeah. Last year we lacked the leadership. This year we see that more this year. Um, and the chemistry, they yeah. are like family. They are sisters, um, and you see that on and off the field. Mm -hmm. um, that chemistry is right there from the first practice. They hang out outside of school, which that doesn't come from me. That's on yeah. their own ownership to hang out outside of the field. I think that makes a big difference in terms of who we are as a team. If they can bond, if they have the chemistry there, they're willing to put everything out on the field and win as a team. And do you see that translate from the off the field to the on field product? Yes. And they come in, like Michaela and Abby said, they have their little dance routine they do for every game. And 
all the parents, we all look at them like, what are you doing? <laughs> but it works for them. If they, and they'll do it in between, in between innings. If they mm -hmm. know that they need to just take a check and a reset, they'll just regroup as a team, and I trust that. Yeah. I don't need to stop in and, and put that energy there. The energy's right there. I just need to just light a little bit, and they're there. <laughs> <laughs> we made them do the chant. We should have made them do they the dance as the well. It, 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 it means the whole team has to be here. Ah, I see but that. They do, a, they do a whole circle dance, and they go in a circle, and it is it is great to watch. <laughs> you do have it on video, but it is very, it's very fun to watch, and it gets everyone else in the mood for the game. The parents go along with it. The coaches, we enjoy it. So it's a good start for the game. Now that light atmosphere, you probably want to bring that into the postseason because it's approaching yeah. soon. Very soon. And you don't want to take it too seriously, but it is it is it a is. difference. Right, and we have and that's sometimes I have to wheel it in. Yeah. You know, I just you know we are this is a conference game or you know, as we go into regionals, it sets the tone for us. We have to come out wanting to win every step we take into those games. We can't have an off inning. We can't wait until the fourth or fifth inning to hit. And we have to really reinforce that and execute that from the get-go as we go into regionals. Conference-wise, mm -hmm. you guys are playing really well. We Seven are. and four, right? Seven and four right now. Tough loss. Um, we split with Mattia, who's number one right now in conference. I believe they're nine and two. Uh, we fell short to Glenbar North, um, and they're right with us in conference mm -hmm. right now. Um, so once we see them in a couple of weeks, I feel like it will be a good match. Um, but yeah, it's it's up in the air in terms <laughs> of conference, which makes it a lot more exciting for yeah. the DBC. How much does the postseason conversation come into play with the team? Do you do you hear them talking about it at we all? We started it today. Did you really? We started the, con the conversation today. You know, I had them do some conditioning inside today. Mm -hmm. And I said, we are the best, we have to be the best, and it starts today, and we kind of really have to get that mindset going into the next couple of weeks. And you say you split with Mattia, you face these good teams. Yeah. It's gotta be nice, at least for them to know, and for you to know as well, that you, you can play with them. Oh, absolutely, we're right there. Those games were, they were tough losses. Mm -hmm. um, it came down to hits. Yeah. Um, defensively, we don't make a lot of errors. We are very strong defensively, but when we're not on offensively, yeah. we hurt, just like any other team that does hurt mm -hmm. in that situation. Um, so we've done all, we made adjustments to our pregame. We do a lot more front toss to so they have the eye on the ball before going into the game. That's what's mm -hmm. helping them a lot too. Cool. Now I want to go from on the field to off the field. Yeah. You guys have done, you have already done one event and you're about to do another. Yes. Uh, DVC Cares, let's start with that one. I know we talked uh, mm -hmm. this past week about it, but you know, you have these kids in the classroom, you have these kids on the field, but to get them out into the community and get them involved, how valuable is that? It's so important. Um, I know we teach our student athletes to be athletes, mm -hmm. um, to be good teammates and to be good teammates to the other team. But it's really important and valuable for them to be um, very mature and also giving back to mm -hmm. their community. And I think it starts with, with the team aspect and to do it together. Any way that we can give back to the community to yeah. help others in need, sheds light on, in terms of what we should be doing as a program. And then the fun, really fun yeah. event that's coming up is uh, Buddy Ball. Do you have an official title yeah. for it? Yeah, so we're doing this Saturday, we're doing the Grand Slam event. There you go. Um, softball's hosting it for the first time this year. Um, hopefully it goes out really well, but we're inviting Special Olympics and Best Buddies here at Nico Valley to join us, and we're going to do a field day. We're going to have the two fields, a varsity field and a JV field. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to have kickball, we're going to do some softball, some tag, and then we're going to have a huge dance-off. <laughs> we're inviting families from both Bus Buddies and Special Olympics to join us, as well as our entire softball program. We've got t-shirts that we're all going to give to um, students of Bus Buddies and students of Special Olympics. And we're going to do a huge barbecue, too. That's so cool. How much is the team looking forward to that? They're very excited about it. We have a lot of students that lead in the Bus Buddies mm -hmm. program and Special Olympics. We have three girls on our team within varsity. Mm -hmm. And then I work with um, a lot within the special education setting. And we have some coaches that do as well. So it's very important that we give back to mm -hmm. our own students and our own school in a positive way. And the students and bus buddies, and stuff, oh, they're so excited. <laughs> they, I guess they keep talking about it to the athletes. Our That's athletes. awesome. So they're really excited about coming out, having a good time. Yeah. Right before we go into regionals because it's going to get serious real mm -hmm. quick just to kind of have fun with our school. Well, enjoy the day. Hopefully Thank the weather you. is beautiful and everything <laughs> holds up. Thank you. And best of luck in the postseason. Thank you too. so much. Thanks Thank for you. joining me. Of course.